let's talk about gym culture. And the, the first thing, I'm do a little series on this. The first thing I want to talk about is uh, the gym culture. Uh, if you guys follow my social media, you know that I'm a health club owner. I've owned health clubs, uh, personal training businesses for well over 35 years. And I've been in gyms since I was 16. That's the youngest I could be to get into the gym. And so I've, I've been in gyms for a long time. So the first thing I want to talk about with the gym culture is what to wear. Now, every club has some rules. Our rules uh, in our facilities are uh, hardly any. Um, I'm, I'm not saying don't wear hardly any clothes. I'm just saying our rules are not very strict. So you have lots of flexibility on um, what you want to wear. So there, there's a guy out there, his name's uh, Joey Swole. He, he's doing some really great work. And uh, I guess this has been going on for about a year or so where people are setting up their videos, uh, their cameras in um, or their tripods or whatever in their phones in, in, in health club facilities and showing what's behind them so that people and then they're doing some type of exercise and then the person walks by and looks at them and then they post it on social media and all that. Um, so I just want to get into some of that. But on this video, I just want to start with what do you wear? Here's our rule. Our rule is don't wear jeans or something that's going to scuff or cut the upholstery. Because when you wear jeans, sometimes it can hit, it can uh, scuff it or tear it, and then, you know, we have to replace the upholstery more. So that's basically our rule. Now, I, again, all my experience, and a lot of this stuff that's being talked about, about, you know, gym creeps and people looking at, or guys looking at women, um, I've never really noticed that. Um, but what you wanna wear in a gym is something that's comfortable. In the summer, maybe you're wearing shorts, uh, maybe uh, a t-shirt or whatever. Uh, for a man, you know, it, it's, um, it's not really in style to wear a tank top. So uh, right now, I mean, 30 years ago, 35 years ago, it was kind of in style to wear a tank top in a gym, but it's not really now. Um, so most, most guys in the summer will wear shorts and, uh, tennis shoes. You want to make sure you wear tennis shoes. And another rule we have is your toes have to be covered. We want your toes to be covered. Don't wear flip flops in the gym because something could fall on your toe. So pretty minor. I mean, nothing, nothing big, no big rules. Um, if you want to wear a bikini in the gym, I, I guess you could, but that's kind of silly. Um, I don't see the purpose of it, uh, because I mean, I don't see that in our gyms. I don't know if we're just blessed or fortunate where we don't have these type of conflicts. I've never seen a conflict like this where someone's filming and someone does something and then it's posted on social media. I have, I am not aware of that. That doesn't mean it hasn't happened in our gyms, but I'm not aware of it. And I've owned probably 50 gyms in multiple different states. So I'm just not um, aware of it. But obviously it happens. Uh, but now in the winter, maybe you wear sweats. Maybe you wear a sweatshirt. We keep the temperature in our gyms comfortable, whether that's in the summer or whether that's in the winter. So you, you can wear pretty much whatever you want. If you want to wear something that shows a lot of skin. That's not my business. Our staff, our managers, as far as I know, do not uh, tell people, you know, that's too risque or you're showing too much skin. Um, I don't know what the motive behind that is if you're doing that, but um, I don't really care. Uh, maybe some people do. Now, the whole thing about looking at people, look, 
I'm, I'm in the fitness business. I naturally look at people and, you know, I may be driving down the road and my wife's right next to me. She's going with me somewhere, right? Uh, very happily married. I see someone jogging down the road. I naturally look. I look at them, not just females, but also males. I look, oh, wow, that guy's fit. Or, wow, he's got a nice gait. He's got a nice running form. Or she has a nice running form. Or that person's jogging at a really quick clip. I just naturally analyze things like that. And it's going to happen in the gym. The gym is a positive place. And it's a phenomenal place to meet people. It's not like going into a bar where you're going to get hit on. Does it ever happen in gyms? Probably. Um, I just think it's really rare. And maybe I just have a rare experience in this. Being in the gym since I was 16, it's, it's just not something that I've ever noticed is a problem. Maybe I'm oblivious. I don't know. If, if you have been hit on in the gym, let me know. Put it in the comment section. Or if you've been accused of being hit on in the gym, put that in the comment section, especially one of my gyms. I want to know because um, there's certain things that, you know, you don't tolerate as gym owners. Uh, certain things I don't tolerate, certain things that my partners don't tolerate. I don't uh, implement a lot of the policies, but my partners do. And so this whole thing has just fascinated me. So comfortable clothes, soft clothes that aren't going to ruin the equipment, that are comfortable for you to exercise in. It doesn't have to be something that is makes people look or um, doesn't cover a lot of skin. Um, again, that's up to you. But, um, you know... I'm kind of neutral on this too. A lot of people say, well, what do you expect? You're not wearing any clothes. Well, I still don't think a guy should sit there and, you know, gawk at that. But, you know, admiring a physique, male or female, that's going to happen. You're in a gym. And I'll do one on, on fat shaming too. Somebody might look. That doesn't mean they're fat shaming you. Um, it's human nature. If something moves in front of you, you look at it, you know, it's just what people do. So hopefully if you guys have questions, maybe I didn't give enough detail on what to wear in the gym, something comfortable, something that fits the season, something that you like, and it's okay. Look, I know we're all going to the gym to work out. We're not going there to get dates or hit on people or flirt. 99 out of a hundred people aren't because they would go somewhere else. If you're looking for that, go to the bar, go somewhere else. It's a much better place to do that. Where gyms are just, you may go in there and try to get people to look, they're not really looking at you because they don't go to the gym for that. They go to the gym to exercise and to get healthy. So that's the first one on what kind of clothes, um, Again, you have questions or comments, and a lot of you may have different opinions uh, than I do about what you should wear in the gym. Put that in there too, because I just this fascinates me. And we're just kind of try to be non-judgmental and let people wear what they want. I mean, within reason, you know. Um, and then uh, people can. Take it how they want to take it. But I'd love to hear your comments. If you guys like most of the stuff on this channel is for older adults or beginners who are just getting into trying to be healthy or trying to stay fit and healthy as they age, like and subscribe. Always love to hear your input and we will talk to you soon.